Okay, here we are at the um, cassava processing plant in Mayanje, uh, southern Rwanda. Here's some of the drying racks. It is collection day to day. So the women are over here um, processing the cassava that the farmers have brought in. But drying racks and then the effluent wastewater collection, which is um, a little suspect. But here's cassava crops, and this is kind of a typical landscape. Definitely, definitely rolling hills, um, but it is electrified. Um, but let's see, cassava. Um, this is the the plant, um, and it's grown kind of sporadically and kind of really drought tolerant. But this is what it looks like underneath the canopy. Um, it's propagated through cuttings, so people will take about they said 20 centimeters. Um, cuttings and then um, usually it's mounded and then it just grows on its own and it's really hardy but this is what the root looks like so it's dug up um, it can stay in the ground for over like, two uh, planting seasons so uh, it's fantastic to be able to have like a, um, a keepsake something that's gonna last a long time but this is what the root looks like here's the stalk and it grows on the ground, um, varying amounts of harvest, harvest weight, um, but one of the problems is, is that as soon as you harvest it, it begins to rot, like within 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, the shelf life is com completely done, so that's why um, we have to turn it into to ferment it to pull out the cyanide and then um, turn it into flour so that it can be saved. So here we are with a very big root. <laughs> yeah. You can see he's got to kind of pry it out of there. Okay, this is a good one. You see? Yep. At uh, nine months nine month old. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is just one piece, yeah? So here's a new transport of um, cassava from the farmers. The truck goes around on collection day and gathers all the farmer load and then brings it here for to be weighed and then processed. So this is the stuff that was already in and here's the new load and apparently inconclusive but everybody seems to be eating this one and not eating this one. But she had to be determined what the reason the causes were uh, undefined. So there's a number of different approaches to cassava processing. The, the male brute force with the machete, and then the women with small knives and small babies. Okay, so we're starting to weigh. Um, to see the differences between um, raw weight cassava coming in and how much um, of it is waste once you peel it. And so we take an initial reading and we go through the traditional peeling method which is knock off the end and then peel it down and the skin comes off fairly easily. And then, we'll take a second weight, which we'll. Uh, so the stock comes off, and then you're basically left with the finished product, which it will be flaked off and mixed. Yeah. So we'll take a second reading and we'll get an average weight of, um, of cassava weight. Oh, okay. the this is the washing station. This is where the roots are brought once they're peeled. They're put into this tank uh, and scrubbed with the brush. Usually they sit in here for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, actually until the tank gets full. Then they'll take the cassava and put it in tubs. We have another video of that. And then over here into the, what they call it, the rasper, which is basically a machine 
that may, breaks it into smaller pieces. Ya na kanu kadinye, ya di su corazón.